Yes, incredible view. Over. Well, the most surprising thing, although we know it, is that we can float. But it doesn't mean just we float, everything floats. So it's sort of funny. Um, it's easy to lose things because on Earth you put something down and it will stay there, but here you let something go and it floats away. So it's a little bit frustrating, uh, but it's also a lot of fun to float and fly in space. Over. So I think the biggest challenge that I have faced personally is just missing home. You know, I have so much fun up here. Working up here is wonderful. We're doing new science experiments. But when I look down at Earth, I see that's the one planet in the universe that I know, that my people that I know live on, animals and plants that I know are all there. So I think the hardest thing is missing those things, missing rain falling on your head or wind on your face. So those physical things of Earth are the, is the hardest thing for me. Over. There are so many wonderful things to do up here. One of those things is float and fly. It feels so much fun to fly through the space station. But honestly, um, looking out the window, looking at our planet, looking at the universe, seeing something like a comet, seeing the aurora, really puts things in perspective and also understanding that we have our one planet that we're living on um, is really probably my favorite realization or perspective that I have from living in space. Over. Another great question. The human body, when it's healthy, can adapt to this environment, um, but it still is a little hard to go to sleep because you don't have a bed to lay down on. You don't have a chair to sit down on or a floor to sit down on. So you want to relax by sitting down, laying down, uh, but you don't have that. So you just have to get used to it. And it took about a month for me to be able to relax and sleep in space. Eating, on the other hand, the food is prepared in such a way that it sticks together. It's not crumbs like bread. Um, and so then that way we can eat it right out of the package or try to mix it together because it has a wet, like soup consistency. Over. doing all sorts of experiments on ourselves. We're doing some things that are for exploration, like 3D printing up here, because um, if we go further, we're going to have to make our own tools or medical ex um, e equipment. So we're working on exploration things. We're also trying to understand what happens to the human body when it's in space for a long time. So many tests on ourselves as well. And then we're also doing some experiments that look at our, our Earth, our planet. Uh, maybe for better uh, production of food, and then also looking out into the universe to try to understand uh, our beginnings. Over. You know, I think I miss the most, uh, I can talk to people back on Earth, so I am in touch with my family, so that's nice, but I, I miss actually uh, seeing my pets, my animals, because that means that I go for a walk and have those, have those things that I talked about, like maybe we go for a walk in the rain and I feel rain falling on my head, or I feel wind in my face, or I feel sand on my feet when I walk on the beach. Those are the things, the sensations that we don't have up here. Over. Most recently, we've had some amazing aurora, which means there's been some activity on the sun, some solar 
activity, and that energy translates itself over to the Earth in, in, in shows itself in aurora. So not only have we had green aurora, but we've actually seen the red aurora, and that is just fascinating. And to add to that, there's a comet that's flying close to Earth, or close to our solar system, and we have been able to see that as well. Over. I'm starting to lose you, but I do want to just mention that I have met Sheikh Muzaffar in the past, and I'm so proud of him and um, getting the kids like yourselves to be interested in science and technology. Um, great questions. Thank you so much for your time today. It was great to talk to you, and I hope uh, we get to do this again. Over.